So in a previous video, we have seen how to use the file picker and the file picker is ideal to pick files, um, but you can pick any file from the file system, but you can also pick images. But if you want to pick images or maybe use the camera to pick an image or a video, you want to probably use the media picker, which is a specialized kind of picker that opens your gallery app or your camera and lets you pick media from that. If you've worked with the media plugin before, this all will look very familiar because this is just the media plugin that has been taken into Xamarin Essentials and um, you can now use it from straight from Essentials. So that's great. Let's see how to do that in this video. So let's start crushing the code for our media picker. Um, which we're going to implement in this file new application. Um, this is just the Xamarin Forms template, which is the default one. I like to keep my samples as uh, simple as possible. So I'm going to start from scratch here. Um, so the thing I already did is install the Xamarin Essentials NuGet on my solution. So on all the projects in here. Um, so let's go to the solution, right click on um, on the actual solution, then click manage NuGet packages and uh, go to update. So at the time of recording, um, um, so there are no updates anymore. So let's go to install. So at the time of recording, Xamarin Essentials uh, just released a new pre-release uh, 1.6.0 pre-1, uh, which has all this new functionality. Um, so whenever you see this, maybe at a later time, 1.6 stable is probably out and it will have the uh, media picker inside of it. So you don't have to check the show pre-release packages, but for now you have to do that. Um, if I close this one and um, so this is the media picker one There's also the file picker one which actually allows you to pick a random file from your file system. So um, All the files not just images and the media picker is basically just the new version um, of the Xamarin media plugin that you might know by James Montemagno. They've taken that plugin uh, and put it into Xamarin Essentials as well. And this media picker is all about picking just images or videos or even opening the camera and picking images or videos that way. So let's see how to do just that. I'm going to remove all these labels right here. Uh, we don't need those. And we're going to say here, media picker, uh, sample here we go save that boom update it okay so let's first add a button to uh, pick an image from the gallery so we're going to name this pick image I'm going to just show you just images for videos it should work all the same except of course you can't show that in an image element you have to show that in a media element which is a control in um, Xamarin uh, community toolkit um, but for now, um, I'm just going to show images and um, let you figure out videos yourself. If that's something that you want to see in the next video, please let me know in the comments and I will um, gladly make a video just for you. So let's implement the clicked property here. Um, there we go. And we have a new event handler. And I'm going to add the um, image here as well. Let's give that a name for easy access. Um, result image. So there we go. Save and we should see our button coming up. Okay, great. Now I'm going to go to our event handler. And here I'm going to um, use the media picker. So here we go. It doesn't know that yet because I'm not importing the right namespace. So I'm going to click on the IntelliSense icon and I'm going to say using Xamarin Essentials. Here we go. And now I have the media picker, which has a couple of methods um, such as capture photo async, capture video async, uh, pick photo, pick video, um, and is capture supported. So you should always be checking is capture supported, which is a Boolean that checks on the different platforms um, if capturing, so if opening the camera and doing things um, is actually supported. So be sure to always check that before you call the capture photo or um, video async. Uh, so as you might have guessed by the names, the capture ones, um, those capture uh, things from the camera and the pick ones, uh, they pick something from the gallery app that's installed on your phone. So let's start with that first. I'm going to choose the pick photo async and you have the media picker options that you can supply here. Um, so let's see at what that is. Um, sorry, media picker options. There we go. 
and oh for the pic photo you can actually just do the title so this is probably a custom title if the platform supports it it will throw in that title there and you can tell your users um, what is going on so um, please pick a photo there we go um, do that and of course we want to catch this result so let's go here um, result is this and this is going to be async so we have to await this and we are going to do uh, an async here on the method and now we should be good to go so this result is a file result and the file result will probably tell us a couple of things about the content type so this is going to be the mime type of the file that has been picked uh, the file name so just the file name the foo path and um, the open read async which will give you the stream to the actual file so those are a couple of things that we can use for this i think that's the same for both the image and the video because it's an abstract file result and nothing specific to um, images and such so and here we're going to say our result image is going to be actually I'm going to capture the stream first so let's get the stream out of the result uh, stream is result dot open read async again this is async so we need to await this so now we have the stream right here and we can say image source um, from stream and we have to put a function in here so this is the stream here we go now our image should show up uh, oh of course i can't assign this to the image object i have to assign this to the source okay there we go so now our uh, source or image should show up from the image source dot from stream um, so the one thing that I didn't do just yet, um, I have to stop this debugging session um, because I implemented some, some backing code here. So let's do that. And the other thing I need to do um, is implement the right permissions. So for Android, if you're using Essentials already in your main activity, you will find this um, on request permissions result. Uh, which already has the essentials in here that handles the runtime permissions for you from, I think, Android Marshmallow and up or something. Um, but you still want to have the permissions. So we go to the Android uh, project, then properties, and then the Android manifest. And in our GUI editor here, we are going to find the um, right external storage. So we probably need the right uh, permissions as well. And the read external storage, because a lot of the images will probably be on the external external um, storage things on Android so that's that and if you're doing this on um, iOS you need some permissions as well so we go into the uh, info p list and we're going to look at this uh, the entry here so again I'm doing this through the GUI editor um, if you want to know all about the uh, permissions that you want to just add in the info p list uh, check out the uh, documentation on the uh, media picker it's probably all in there and I'm going to scroll down for now to the privacy and they have a couple of things privacy media library usage so that's probably one you want um, and you have to specify something this app would like to access your photos and if you also want to capture um, something from the camera we also need the permissions for the camera so you also want to go with this camera usage description um, and say this app would like to take pictures there we go now the user knows what's going on we have the right permissions and we should be able to use this so let's just run this again i'm going to show this on android so here we are, here is our app, and I'm going to say pick image. And you can see the runtime uh, permissions are working, so I'm gonna say allow. And here I have the recent images that are on my phone, but I can also go to drive or photos or whatever. This is probably dependent on the Android version and, and flavor that you're running. Um, so these thumbnails are not working, which is probably some kind of emulator issue, uh, but I'm just going to pick one in the blind and up. Oh, oh. Oh, well, if you, okay, you want me to subscribe to my channel? That's something you can do. Please do it right now. Um, thank you very much. And here you can see, so it, it picks the image. If I do this again, I can pick another image and here's my little logo thingy. Um, and if we do it again, you can see the Xamarin logo. So this works perfectly. You can just pick the image, do something, 
and um, that that just works so that's great so now let's see if we can implement also the capturing of an image um, so I'm going to stop this for a little bit because we have to uh, implement some code so let's just add another button and say uh, take image here and I'm going to name this button one clicked and it should um, create the event handler for me automatically and I'll just reuse this same image control to uh, use the result image here so let's go to our code behind and it didn't actually generate the new uh, method handler so that's no problem that's no problem I know how to copy and paste so let's do that and name this button one and here we are going to say again result is await media picker media picker media picker come on there we go and we're going to say capture photo this time and again we have the media picker options which uh, only allows you to specify the title so that's kind of curious um, to be honest I don't know at this point because what you've been used to in the uh, media plugin is that you could also specify like how big the image should be uh, that is captured and and some other options so I'm not sure if that is something that is still to be implemented on essentials um, but you know um, find out yourself and if you can't find it out let me know in the comments and I will make another video for you on that um, so let's just keep it like this for now and again, we're going to just capture the stream from this. So await, um, again, result, open read async. So that's the same thing. And we can say uh, result image.source is image source from stream function in here stream there we go now I should be able to just run this and get the simulated camera view from um, Android so let's see if that works take image okay um, so here we have another error because we need another permission on Android and we need the permission for the camera here as well of course so let's just stop this one and go back to our Android project again the Android manifest and add the camera permission here little check mark save that and try again let's run it now let's try it again we're going to click the take image and the Android emulator has a pretty nice uh, camera simulator. So you can actually walk around uh, in this room and, and do a couple of things. So for that, you're going to use the W, A, S, D, and, and you can also use the Q and the E keys, I think. And you have to um, hold down the Alt image, at least on, on Mac OS. So if I push down the Alt image right now, um, you can see I can move the mouse and I can look around in this room and I can even um, walk around in it and I can zoom in on this um, kind of RT cat and uh, let's just focus on that one take the image there we go and you can say uh, okay do I like this do I want to do it again um, but let's just say we, we like this and you can see that shows up in our image now so also taking the image just works from the uh, media picker um, pretty easy to implement one last note I should make my code a little bit more robust so the result can actually be null whenever the user has uh, canceled the, the the taking of the image of the or the picking of the image because if I take the image now and I uh, go back then you can see I canceled and it's going to be null so there's a no reference exception so if I quickly um, close those down this one and I add a check here if result not is null um, here we go put that here and also for this one if result not is null there we go and if I run this again now our code should be uh, completely be proof of uh, the cancellation as well so let's do the take image go back and you can see nothing happens so that's how you make your code a little bit more robust and that's how you use the media picker in Xamarin forms now this sample was just for Android but on iOS this works as well it opens the photos app lets you pick something opens the camera ask you for permission do all the things uh, it will work just as well in fact it also supports UWP iOS Tizen Android Mac OS basically any platform that you can think of that is supported in Xamarin um, and, and Xamarin forms you can do that with essentials pick all the media from there
Thank you for watching again. I hope you already subscribed to my channel. If not, this is the time to do it. Um, please click that like. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see. Click that bell if you want to be notified immediately. And I'll see you for my next video.